So today I wanted to talk about my new editing pack called Viral Short Form Pack. This pack is made specifically for short form content, fast and popular edits that are going viral on social media and it works in both Premiere Pro and After Effects. It's super beginner friendly, but if you're more advanced, you'll also have a lot of freedom to customize everything. So let's get into it. I'll walk you through the folders first and then we'll jump into using the templates in Premiere Pro. After that, I'll show you a short edit I made using the pack. And finally, I'll show you how everything works in After Effects. Okay, once you unzip the file, this is what you'll see. You'll notice the pack is very clean and simply to navigate. Everything is clearly labeled so you don't get lost. So you'll see two main folders, 4K and HD. And inside, you'll find all the templates in both horizontal and vertical formats. Even though this is a short form pack, I still created both formats because a lot of reels are made horizontal now, so I want to make sure you're all set. You'll also see Assets folder. This is where you'll find things like frames, photos, sound effects and textures. Photos folder that you can ignore because you'll add your own images and you won't be using these. I just added them as an example. I always like to do that because aesthetic is really important for me and I want to make sure when you open essential graphics that it looks beautiful for you. So again, just ignore that folder. Also, you can use your own assets if you want. In Premiere Pro, you'll be able to replace images, obviously, um, then textures and sound effects. But in After Effects, you'll have full control over everything. So assets, animation, time mean basically the entire template. All right, let's first open up Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to use the pack there. All right, first thing that you'll want to do is import the templates into Premiere Pro. To do that, just select all of the templates and drag them directly in the Essential Graphics panel. If you don't see Essential Graphics, just go to Window and click on Essential Graphics. Okay, let's start with vertical templates. I'll choose, um, let's go with the kinetic style number one. I'm going to drag it straight into timeline just like that. When you click on the template, you'll see that everything is nicely organized into folders. This makes replacing content really fast. So to replace your images or clips, all you need to do is open the folder, grab your media and drag it into placeholder. You'll do the same thing for each placeholder and in just a few seconds, the effect is done. And honestly, this is exactly the kind of pacing and energy that works insanely well for social media reels. Let's go with paper collage one. So this one is super interesting because it goes from video to photos changing and then to the video, which is a really nice touch in my opinion, to give the whole effect even more movement by mixing both video and photo. Okay, so I wanna show you now something like flash light. So the idea for this one was match cut effect. Ideally, if you have similar shots to create a match cut, you'll place them like this. But in case you don't have match cut photos, don't worry, you can just add the same photos that will come together. So instead of adding different photos in each photo placeholder, you'll add the same images in folder 1 and 2, and then you'll pick a different image and then add it in the folder three and four, and then pick another image and place it in the folder five and six. Basically how I did it in the original template, you can just follow it as a reference because I didn't use match shots myself. This one is also so good. Um, it's a mix of shake and split screen and paper rip at the end. Let's just replace the images. And again, it will take you just a few seconds and you'll end up with this effect. And we have these two. So one is shutter frame slide that is showing from different directions. And then we have camera shutter effect, which is one of my most viral effects I've ever done. So of course I had to include both of them in this pack. Oh, and we also have the collage effect, which is absolute fire. I'll replace the images and let's play it. Collage 2 is very interesting as well. This is going to work so well on social media. I won't show you all of them because there are 20 templates in the pack and you'll try all of them yourself. But I want to show you this one mostly because of this. As you can see, there is a color grade opacity folder. So when you click on it, you'll see saturation and noise. And this is something that you'll see in most of the templates. So before replacing your videos and photos, if you want to color grade them yourself, just apply your LUT and you're going to save the photo and then replace it. But if you apply a lot on a video, just nest it or make a subsequence and then just drag and drop them in the placeholder. That way you'll have your color grade. And then you're going to change the saturation to 100 to remove the black and white color. And also you can play with the noise effect as you wish. Some of the templates 
templates include textures and you can always change them by replacing them with your own textures or remove them by reducing the opacity to zero. If you downloaded one of my packs before, you already know how this works. Every template also comes with sound design attached to it, but if you don't like the sound effects that I chose or you want to use your own, just unlink the audio from the template, delete it and add your own. Now let's take a look at horizontal versions. I'll just show you some of the templates. I won't be replacing images because it works exactly the same as the vertical one. The only difference is that they are designed specifically for widescreen formats, so everything is framed properly. Um, then we have paper rip effect with quick flashes and we have slow shutter zoom, which was another effect that I posted on Instagram that went viral. Also there is a glitch effect. You can change the frame color here. I want to make sure to give you that option. So just click on the film frame color folder and change the tint color. So many details in this one, different frames and distortion effects mixed with flashes, one of my favorites for sure. Now before we move on to After Effects, I want to quickly show you a short edit I made using this pack. So this entire edit was creating using only the templates from the viral short form pack, no extra effects. Just replacing the clips and photos and letting the pack do all the heavy lifting for me. All you are seeing here is the power of the viral short form pack. And this is exactly how you'll be able to use it in your own content. Alright, now let's go to After Effects. To open the template, go to File, then Open Project and choose the template you want to use. Then select the location where you want to save it, click Extract and open the project. Once the project is open, you'll see that again everything is fully organized. You'll have pre-compositions for photos and clips. All you're going to do is double click on it and double click again and then you're just going to drag your footage or photo and it will take you again just a few seconds in After Effects as well as in Premiere. And the biggest advantage of using this pack in After Effects is full creative control. We can change timing, scale, position, rotation, add extra effects, reorder clips, literally anything. So if you're an advanced editor and you want to really push things further, After Effects gives you all the flexibility you need. Alright, that's pretty much everything you need to know to start using Viral Short Form Pack. Also, anytime I update it, whether it's based on your feedback or I decide to add new templates, you'll get those updates for free. When you try it out, I'd love to hear what you think. Your feedback means a lot to me and it really helps me improve future packs. So feel free to tag me on Instagram when you use it. I love seeing your edits and I always like to repost them. And if you have questions, if something isn't working or if you need help opening the files, whatever it may be, just reach out to me via email or Instagram. I read and reply to everything and I'm always happy to help.